Hello internet, how's it going? Um, another full day of mowing ahead. Um, today is the day that I do a lot of my, a majority of my weekly lawns and uh, about half of my bi-weekly lawns. Um, and there's a, there's a there's a good chunk to do today. Uh, I've got to stop and get some fuel. Um, my machines and my truck are both totally full, but my gas cans are empty. So just to be 100% sure, I'm gonna stop and get some gas. Um, other than that, it's just gonna be straight mowing all day long. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna do that little pine straw job that we talked about uh, in the last video. And after that, mow probably the other half of my bi-weekly lawns. And then there's not much, uh, <laughs> you know. Um, I lost a big account last year and, or this year, and um, I ought to make a video on that because it's really strange because there wasn't really any money in it and it took up like three or four days of my week most of the time. And, you know, there's a lot there to talk about, so it's not for this video, but um, it is weird to, now that we have a week of dry weather, I can actually freaking like, I can get up here, mow, and get everything done in a, in a day. Like, it's kind of crazy to me that uh, dropping that big account just makes things so much smoother. And I don't have any anxiety about anything with the schedule, right? Because um, like I say, I was supposed to spend a day there a week. And a lot of the time that, that would work, you know, I, I would go there and mow for about four hours and get done whatever else I could um, but when it came time to do hedges and stuff it would just take me like three or four days to do it all and I would have to like stagger it throughout the week so I could get everybody done and um, it just wasn't a good good way to go through uh, through doing things um, but anyway, I'll, I'll do that. In a, I'll talk about that in another video because that is an, an interesting topic on its own. Um, but for today, it's just mowing residentials. Um, and I've got four city properties. Um, I really, really want to get home tonight and try to get some stuff together for some of these people that, you know, a lot of a lot of my customers are saying, "Ooh, I talked to you about, or I talked to so and so about you." Uh, they're asking who did our landscaping, and I told them you did it. And I'm just not hearing back from any of those people. So I'm gonna try and put something together for this one particular place that gets constant recommendations. I'm gonna try to get something together for them to give those people, um, and try to get some phone numbers and contact info of, of those people. <laughs> One in particular is really easy because it's just a business. Uh, I can just call them up. Um, the others are individuals. Uh, so I don't know that I'm gonna get to get their number, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, let's uh, drive on into town here and get ready to mow some grass.
right guys so that one is a weird one because it is a brand new construction uh right after the winter i guess or right during the winter they built it and uh there's a huge issue with new constructions lately um you know they just throw up these houses pack them in as tight as they possibly can and they don't do sod anymore um and that's something that's been happening more and more in the last five years um to the point now where i don't even if i'm if i mow a, a new construction in the last five years none of them have had sod not a single one and um you know it, it's it's such a crazy thing to me because it just seems like um the thing to do would be to put some grass out there for them you know like you want some greenery but uh, the way they do that now is they just put that horrible winter rye grass out. All right, sorry. Uh, there was a police officer and in this little town of one stoplight type town, they uh, they like to just post up everywhere they can. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, the new constructions now they just put out this winter rye grass and they don't use. Okay, so. If you're not familiar with winter ryegrass, there has recently been a development of quote unquote turf type winter rye, which uh, will grow uh, much more evenly. It doesn't grow quite as aggressively and it cuts a little bit cleaner. Um, it's almost like a fescue, but like a light green fescue. Um, it's still not like a, it, it's, it's not like a, lawn you know it's not meant to stay it's still temporary but uh they're not using that they're using the classic just uh like uh put it in your fields to build up the soil and feed the the cattle type winter rye uh <laughs> and it gets super tall super quick um you know i was there uh a week ago I was there last Tuesday, today's Tuesday, and it is, it's as if I never cut it uh, last week. And you, you see how it looks now. I cut probably five to six inches off of that. Um, it just grows so aggressively and it holds so much moisture and it just clumps and clumps and it, it's a mess. It's, I hate it. Um, they've got their brand new concrete out there and it just, it stains it like crazy. There's just not much you can do about it. Like I'm, I, I, no matter how careful you are, you're gonna get like one little splotch of grass on there. And uh, I don't know, it's frustrating, man. These new constructions just are not doing sod. And it seems to me like, especially as much as houses are going for now, um, I did a video last year or the year before about how difficult it was to find our house because we kept getting outbid by like 15 20 grand like why are y'all not doing sod you know um why are y'all not taking care of people properly you're just throwing up homes and like, it's just frustrating and i think that's a big big issue you know like not because like i want to cut nice grass or anything but it's like you're just cutting corners and now like you're just you're skipping out on probably a five thousand dollar expense for the for the builder um but for the customer to get me to do it or to get whoever to do it it's going to be 10 plus thousand or whatever it ends up being uh just because we have different labor costs labor structures you know a builder can just buy the materials and bill for the same time like or include it into the the builders plans but no one's doing that and these houses look you know they get these brand new houses in the yards just look god awful um they put this little strip of weed fabric out and put pine nuggets over it which um i don't think i've ever talked about this i despise pine nuggets for mulch it is the most god awful trash garbage junk ever to mulch flower beds with because it just the wind blows and it blows it all out okay 
and it rains, it washes out. That yard has pine nuggets all over the place all the time. No matter how detail oriented I get, the fabric is just showing because, you know, not only is it gonna blow out anyway, but now they put it on this smooth paper-like surface for it to just slip right off of. I hate pine nuggets. It's, it's the worst. If you're using pine nuggets, just stop. It is the single worst mulching material, period. Like, I, I despise it. It is the worst. Um, but they use that because it's cheap. They use the horrible ryegrass. And so things just look horrible. Um, and now here's the deal. That's great for me. It's an opportunity, right? I get to go in there and make a lot of money now, but I don't know. The whole, the whole point of that, I guess, is just to say like, why as expensive as houses are, just put in the sod and put in a real landscape. Don't like, why are y'all cutting corners? And by the way, if you do those, uh, those services, you put in the sod and you do a really nice landscape, you could probably get even more out of the house. Um, because now, man, why did the road get bumpy all of a sudden? Because now, um, they are going to end up having to spend 10 or $15,000 more to get a yard and to get landscaping and it's just it just doesn't make sense but anyway that's my rant i'm gonna go on to the next one and hopefully i can get everything done these are it's like 10 30 now and the grass all still has just tons of uh the morning dew on it so things are very difficult and there's an ambulance what what a weird ride pulling over for the ambulance Here's the next one. It is a pretty decent sized yard. Uh, it goes all the way back and around, and you'll see some of that here in just a second, but let's get on. This is the stuff that I'm talking about. It is complete mush, standing water, and it gets worse and worse every year. Uh, we just keep getting more rain. And you can see where I had to stop last time. Um, now I'm gonna have to stop even sooner because the water comes out in like a straight line from where my mower is, so.
The whole thing is done. And yep, I mow all of that all the way back to the woods at the other end of the lake and all of this hill. Now, the good thing about this property is there's no trimming, but uh, yeah. All right, I just pulled up to this one. You saw it in a couple other videos, but uh, I just pulled up on it at like such a good time for the sunlight and holy smokes, it has turned out unbelievable this year. This is no irrigation, very little, you know, uh, messing with. Uh, let me mow the ditch out there. And then when we're on the other side, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. 
cleared off the whole parking lot here. And it's gonna be hard to tell because of the fog, but the sun is going down. And it is going down quickly. Now, the question is, do I have time to make it over there and mow that one across the street? No, no I don't. <laughs>